Welcome to Excel in a minute. Does an error happen when you move or copy your X lookup formula? One probable cause is cell referencing. In this video, we will show you how the absolute and relative references work in X lookup. The X lookup is a function that searches a value from a horizontal or vertical array, then returns a value from a specified return array. The function runs on six arguments where only the first three are required. Moreover, an absolute reference is a cell reference that is fixed so that rows and columns are not changed when moved or copied to another cell. This is indicated by a dollar sign before a row or column address. On the other hand, a relative reference is the opposite. If you want to learn more about the absolute and relative references, you may check our video about these references in our channel. Now, let's have an example using this data. In this example, we want to get the letter grade equivalent for each student's grade percentage. First, let's try using only relative references. In cell F5, input the X lookup formula with cell E5 as the lookup value. The lookup array is from cell A2 to A11, and the return array is from B2 to B11. And since we want to get the exact value, or the next smaller item, use minus 1 as the fifth argument. Press Enter, then complete the table using the fill handle to copy the formula to the other cells. From the results, there are several errors because the cell references for the formula's lookup and return arrays have changed with respect to the position of the cell it was copied from. The solution to this is to use absolute references to fix the cell references and preserve the accuracy of the formula. In cell H5, input the same formula but fix the cell references for the lookup and the return arrays by adding dollar signs before each column and row addresses. Or highlight the lookup array and return array cell references, then press F4 to automatically add dollar signs. Completing the table, you can see that there are no more errors and that the results are correct. This is because the cell references that needs to be unchanged are already fixed. This Excel feature helps you fix those errors and help you preserve the accuracy of your data. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.